Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Ocarina of Time, part 11. So... So, we fucked up. <laughs> <laughs> Jeez. And yeah, that's actually, that's actually a good segue, like as soon as, as soon as we come outside and, oh god damn, it's the place is riddled with zombies. Yeah. Everything looks like it's been burned. They just want hugs. <laughs> <laughs> it's true. <laughs> oh, man. Hey, man, if a dead person ever comes up to you, you better give them hugs. They need them. Yeah. So, you know, you, you, ex you expect the rest of the world to be completely covered in shit, but apparently not. It's all bright and happy. <laughs> and the field looks nice. Exactly. Nothing is wrong with this world. And it's nice. Not a damn thing. thing. At, yeah. at least in Link to the Past, like when you go to the old, when you go to the dark world, everything is dark. But here, yeah. <laughs> I just go a few feet outside the castle. Wait, 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 so he grows up and 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 he's still slow as hell. Yes. <laughs> yep. <laughs> God. His legs are longer too. That's yeah. What the hell? <laughs> Although I guess in his defense, he's been sleeping for like seven years. He has no idea how to like do anything properly his, yet. His legs are still asleep. <laughs> no, he walks like a fat guy. Well, uh... No offense, fat people. Jeez. Well, anyway, well, we're about to we're about to be faster soon. We just gotta get our horse and more tights. <laughs> tights are sexy. And, and that guy's wearing tights too. And this is totally not this is totally not evil Luigi. Yeah. Oh yeah, Ingo. So that's her name's Talon and I keep Ingo. forgetting his name's Ingo. And there's like th and there's like three of him in, in Majora's Mask. Yeah, exactly. He, it's his brothers <laughs> apparently. Well. I think. Term, uh, his, well, his alternate dimension brothers. Yeah. <laughs> wow. Very nice. I swear, can you imagine someone from like uh, Hyrule going over to Termina and meeting someone that looks literally exactly like them? You know, it, makes me, it makes me wonder where is the Termina version of Link? Hmm. I guess because he's the hero of time, he's exempt from the cloning. I don't know. Well, then, so... that, means, that means he should be the he, that means he should be the the hero of dimensions. Hmm. So, yeah. if there's a Hyrulean me here, does that mean there's a Terminian me here too? Makes <laughs> <laughs> Nixon, Nixon just like one standing right behind him. Yeah. Hits his ghost. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> he touches and it causes a time paradox. Well, that's the thing too. Runs out. Oh. Oh yeah, this one, I, I don't know actually. Wait, you're what? game over? If time runs out? No, you, you, oh, you're being timed to be able to ride the horses and then you, you get kicked uh. out, then you gotta pay again. So, oh, I see. Yeah, that's kind of stupid. Well, the truth is, if you jump over the fences, then you actually get your money back. Like what I'm doing oh, okay. right now, so... So you do this for a few moments, you go back to talk to him. Talk to him, then he'll see that you look familiar, then you go back for a few more runs, and then after that you gotta talk to him to play again. What a cheap ass. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you get your money back by jumping fences. That sounds like a, an analogy for being for being um, a, th a thief. I was just thinking that. Huh. Practice how to jump fence from now on. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> right. Jeez. Jeez, seven seconds, six Wee. seconds, five, four, three, two, one. My what God, it's face. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Hey, time's up, young man. You only pay ten rubies. It tastes like it got smacked. You know, considering we have Mario Kart 8 where we have um the the death stare Luigi, Ingo's um expression here makes so much more sense considering he's supposed to be he's supposed to be based off Luigi. I think that's oh shit! I think that's Link is in the new sorry, but Link's in the new Mario Kart 8, so it's canon! He's oh, shit. time traveling! Oh, no. It's legit! Confirmed. Yeah! Holy crap! I always assumed all the Nintendo characters are in the same dimension, just different planets. It's just a theory. It's like that stupid rumor a about the Star Fox theory. Metro Cross. Game. <laughs> no. You guys remember? You guys remember that uh, rumor about the Star Fox uh, Metroid crossover thing? Oh yeah, yeah. I don't. And actually, actually, in one of the in one of the games in, in this game's program, it is actually R Wing. Oh, I saw that. Yeah. <laughs> that was yeah. funny. It's like this tiny little toy R Wing that shoots at you. Yeah. But I don't think it actually hurts you though. I think it was just for testing some kind of thing in the game, but I don't remember what it was testing. Z-targeting? Something like that. Probably Z-targeting would be my best guess. Alright, so you talk to this guy, then he'll be impressed by your skills, okay? And then, um, you, 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 then you race him. 50 rupees, shit's getting real. Yeah, if you lose, you, you lose 50 rupees. 
Yo, guy, you think you're tough? You want to race? Uh, <laughs> no, I just want to go about my day. I'm going back home. No, let's race. Oh, but I don't. No, let's race. Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> hey, he started losing his mind. Whoa! <laughs> Jeez, how many carrots does he have? That ass. <laughs> <laughs> Chad, He's no. thinking that horse. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> Chad, this is not the time. <laughs> This is the, that's exactly what he's doing, he's slapping the ass. I know, but you don't have to bring me. <laughs> <laughs> well, okay, the thing, is, the thing is, though, you, you, have to, you have to race him again or to keep uh, to keep Epona. But, um, I think the second round, he actually, uh, he actually, the, the, he actually, um, goes the exact same round as you did the first round. Hmm. So... Well, um, make, well, realistically, that makes sense. You want to copy what the guy did who just kicked your ass, so. <laughs> yeah. So what you need to do is, like, in the first round, do good, but not, but not so, but not enough that he can, you know. Uh, do good, but but fuck up. Yeah. Yeah. Don't unleash your full power. Just sandbag. <laughs> yes, <Yeah>, sandbag. <laughs> <laughs> and then go super saiyan. And I still win. Congratulations. I get to keep my horse. Well, technically, it's not your horse. <laughs> he said I can keep the horse. Yeah. You know, he must be really willing to get rid of his, like, his uh, horses if he just gives it to a random stranger because he won in a race. <laughs> yeah. Well, well he's he, got to keep his word, right? Well, he plans to, he plans to, well, yeah, he keeps his word, but he, no, he attempts to trap you inside. Is the there track. a frog on his throat? Looks like it. Holy crap. <laughs> Actually, yeah, I've never noticed that. What is that? <laughs> Jeez, man. What is, that, is that supposed to be a tattoo? I don't know if that's supposed to be his chest hair or something. Yeah, maybe that it's extends like up to his neck. Hair. Yes. Yeah. God damn. Yeah. What a beast. <laughs> Quite literally. That was so cool. <laughs> and he just uh, he just got owned because of he, he he didn't realize. Yeah, I horse. think he must have forgotten that a horse can jump. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> the thing is though, you can actually jump from like three different fences or four different fences, and he'll and um the cutscenes will be different each time. And geez, N64 graphics, like, they jumped over the thing and it's like, here, as a reward, I'll rub the air above you. Well, what, 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 more, what more is that? He, that the opponent's legs actually clipped through the fence as she jumped. Yeah, I saw that too. She would have broken her ankles or whatever. You know, I wonder if that's fixed in the 3DS version. I think so. They have, they, they have the budget They have the budget and the power to do it. Imagine if it was just reskinned. I have a feeling that's probably exactly <laughs> what happened. It mostly was that. I hope not, because then there's so much clipping still. Well... Okay, well, the funny thing is, there, um, what, there's, gl there's glitches that they fixed for um, for the remake, but there's also glitches that they created. Wow. So well, they... that, that's to be expected. I mean, no game is without glitches. I mean, I mean, one of the glitches, like I mentioned earlier, is that you can enter uh, Jabu Jabu's uh, belly again as Adult Link if you walk off the left side of that um, ramp. By the way, with that glitch though, is there actually a way to get out of him or? Yeah, or just what? just leave the dungeon. Oh, just leave the dungeon. Yeah, you just walk through the rectum. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Well, that wasn't the answer I was expecting, but I guess that's an option. Okay, so I'm, so I'm. No, we sh we should be we should be ahead and getting ready to head for the temple, but first, it's time for a trading sequence. Why? Because it gives you the best sword in the game. Uh -huh. So it's worth it. I guess. Yeah, don't need it. Yeah, you technically don't need it, but you can't use any sticks anymore, so... Which oh yeah, for, which is stupid. <laughs> <laughs> Why do you think I can play that? We can't use a boomerang. Come on. The, la the later version of the Link can do it. He can do it in Smash. Yep. Yeah, yeah actually, no, you think about it. Mele a Melee's, uh, Melee's incarnation of Link is Ocarina of Time Link, and he can use the boomerang no problem. <laughs> Yeah, and like Young Link can use stuff. Like Actually, Link yeah, in Smash 64, he's also the Ocarina of Time rendition as well, and he can still do it. So how weird. <laughs> and on top of and on top of that, um, Young Link can use fire arrows, which well, then again, I guess if you count Majora's Mask, but hmm, still weird. Well, anyway, uh, before we start this trade sequence, let's get another item. Oh, uh, look at that thing. <laughs> so what to do? We so in order to obtain the item, you have to race this guy, or at least keep up with him. And he's dead. And don't touch the fire. You know what? People touch the fire. See what happens if, if you if you do touch it. You touch fall. the thing fire too. You fall over. Jeez. <laughs> you get hurt. <laughs> you burn yeah, as, as, as expected. Um. 
So what you need to do, you need to make sure you keep up with him before those doors close on you, otherwise, otherwise you screw up and you have to do it again. Oh, and try not to make the wrong turns, because otherwise you'll just go into a dead end full of redits. <laughs> the way his hand looks, is like, ah, I'll do it later. <laughs> you know, well, considering he probably was very lazy in his real life, I, I, that's to be expected. <laughs> of course, he doesn't have to walk anymore. All he has to yeah. do is move his arms. I think the funny th float. The thing is, yeah. I think what makes this room a little more this this area more ominous is the fact that there's um. Yeah, yeah. you got burned. What makes 360 this... no skill fireball. <laughs> <laughs> Destroyed. Wow. <laughs> yeah, what made that area more ominous is the fact that there's re you can hear redeads crying in like in different areas. So it's like if you fuck up, then you're kind of screwed. Wow. Holy shit, that thing looks lazy. Yeah, look at him. Well, he just flows to his destination, right? And he can float, but he still slouches. Yeah. That's sad. <laughs> you slouch in the afterlife. <laughs> That's when you know you're lazy. My yeah. Life, uh, my spirit's not ready to leave yet. I must slouch some more. Yeah. <laughs> and my slouching days are over. He's just like blue fire. That was weird. And he has like huge underbite. Oh shit, those leggings were actually good for something. <laughs> and we get the hook shot. Hook shot. Uh, have you guys ever uh, uh, watched Game Theory? Uh, yes. Um, I remember in Game Theory when uh, I know I know their stuff is like non-canon and all that stuff, but it's funny thing he he brought up with the fact that um Lincoln uses the hook shot and the long shot. He's saying that technically the long shot should be dislocating his shoulder and stuff due to the semantics of the hook shot. Well, that's Sick. just a theory. A game theory. Right. Thanks for watching. Well, in that case, I'm gonna I'm gonna justify it by saying he has magic arms. <laughs> well, he's Link. <laughs> I wouldn't put it past him. So, uh, hero time immunity. Yes. Well, this needs to be thrown out the window by by him dying to the. To the final boss. Yeah. And thus somehow split the timelines into three. Ooh, a merry-go-round. Hmm. Reminds yeah, me of the one in 64. Like, you know, even as a kid, I thought the merry-go-round was boring. Yeah, it's yeah. just sit there yeah. and spin. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, I guess it's meant for, like, really little kids, like, babies yeah, or something. But, you know. Yeah. You were just too hardcore for that shit. <laughs> sure, let's go with that. <laughs> <laughs> And this dude, holy crap! <laughs> I know he's really good. We got him drunk. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. Either oh, he's like God. the most aggressive masturbator I've ever seen, or he's really pissed off musician. Exactly, or both. <laughs> holy shit! <laughs> he's so mad at his music. He's like, <laughs> so he's oh, aggressive. Crap, doesn't change his he, outlook. He's aggressive. You're playing music, music for while him to <laughs> <laughs> That's how he makes his music. Oh. <laughs> That must, be that must be a really painful way to make music. Uh, <laughs> it looks like he's enjoying it. <laughs> <laughs> Holy crap. Why? It's raining indoors! We just learned a song of storms. How are you doing this? One of my favorite themes, honestly. Unplug. Actually, what, what's happening here is kind of a time paradox, really. Well, it looks kind of like Pat from Two Best Friends Play. Or super best friends play, my bad. Well, if he was slimmer, yeah. Yeah. Wee... <laughs> He's... <laughs> He's so fun! Alright, so now we start the training sequence. As soon as I play the sun, the sun song. The sun song? It could be your birthday every day. Oh, shit. God damn it, past me. <laughs> You're gonna get really old real quick. In fact, by the end of the year, you'd be real damn old. You're 165 days old. Well, you we and, you'll look, and you'll look now at day over 12. Yes. <laughs> well, I remember, I remember someone theorized that you, well, that you know you should be technically suffering um, whiplash from from the Earth just spinning fast enough to to make it to make it daytime again. Hmm. Oh, I think I got whiplash. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, I don't know. Would you suffer with Flash? Because, like, the Earth is spinning super fast right now, but we don't really feel it at all. Well, I mean, like, well is it actually spinning fast, or is it just... Yeah, spinning? hella fast. Well, I mean, like, I mean, like, the, the, like the, the Earth's 
like if the earth spinning it will be even faster than it already is to, to the point that we're not accustomed to it so oh. we would be suffering whiplash just from the earth spinning even faster than it already is in order for it to become daytime again you think so yeah i don't know well, it's not a real it's thing not, it's never gonna happen so. yeah it's not, it's not gonna actually happen i'm just saying all right because i mean even theoretically like i don't think we get whiplash i don't know who knows oh you got whiplash. Yeah. what a darnation yeah <laughs> <laughs> Jeez. Okay, first get a little shut eye around here. Oh yeah, Malin. So you talk to him, makes the chicken happy, and now you go back to the lady. And you okay. kill the chicken, make some chicken stew. Yep. <laughs> oh man. It's weird though. She says she says wait, what we have here is a pocket cuckoo, and it's something that um, that allows her to not get goosebumps. Weird. I don't know how she's able to breathe something like that. And one of those ladies had like. Bricks for hair. It was like a, a cube. <laughs> you see it? No. I was paying. No, I don't think we were paying attention. Oh wow. <laughs> well, she had two cubes for hair. And sixty-four. <laughs> yeah. And I think that they just said that the cuckoo looks awkward. I didn't get to read that. Oh. Was the chicken spinning in the palm of his hands? Yes. Yes. <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> it's so weird. <laughs> Look at my dancing cuckoo. <laughs> yeah. And now we get a blue dancing cuckoo. <laughs> and his name is Kojiro. <gasps> or Koichiro. Let's... Of Kojiro. Or whatever it is, yeah. So we're still training or something? What is he doing again? No, we're, yeah, we're still in the training sequence, and so now we gotta go all the way back to the. You know, we gotta go to the forest. Get the teleport ability already. <laughs> still don't have the sock to do that. Yeah. But at least we have a horse. <laughs> I'm on a horse. Yep. <laughs> I'm on a horse. <laughs> <laughs> your man, no back at me. No back at your man. No back at me. <laughs> yep. Those horses are good. I'm the man your man could be. <laughs> <laughs> those are awesome, man. I love those. Yeah, those commercials are awesome. Yeah. Old Spice. <laughs> the oldest of Spice. Yes. Old Spice. So Zero rides around on this horse to the next destination. So it'd be kind of funny. Actually, that, you know, that's, that's like something Ganondorf would probably do as a commercial. <laughs> wow. <laughs> you know, now he's taking over the world. He probably has like his own, like has his own TV series. <laughs> Jeez. What's it called? Um, Ganon's Cannons. Yeah, Ganon's Cannons. <laughs> <laughs> this is Ganon. Get in 24-7 all night long. Nick's in the shoulder. Get a load of my cannon cannons. <laughs> yep. <laughs> you fight when a fan's beating you up, though. Yeah. Actually, I was blocking with a sword. You have a shield. Use a shield. I was using it. <laughs> <laughs> got some sticks. Oh, yeah, that's true. But they're useless. Uh, yeah, I know. I got sticks. <laughs> but I can't use them. <laughs> Jeez. Like seven years old, still can't use a stick. <laughs> yeah. So why does he have a sword and a shield? Because apparently the sword and shield is less advanced than a stick. <laughs> really yeah, is. seven years older. It really yeah, is. It, <laughs> it, it really is. You must be this old. You must be this young in order to use a stick. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> Lost Woods. Ah, uh, the Skull Kid isn't here. Welcome to the Lost Woods. He appears in. Uh, he appears in the young. Which oh I yeah, that's right. Which I probably should have done, but oh, it's just for it's just for a hard piece. And now it's like the nice guy meeting. So now he's asking you to take the take this mushroom back to Kakariko Village, which we were just at. Ah, uh, he lose the genetic mushroom. Yep. <laughs> yeah, it looks like they're attempting to to show uh, they're attempting to make another Mario reference. Well, if it was a sp if it was spotted, then yeah. Oh wait, no, it is spotted. I sort think it's just shiny. Sort of. it's a, it's a or shiny. maybe it's just shiny, okay. I don't know. Yeah, it's a it, really... looks, it looks spotted on the item menu. Yeah. I think it's just a lighting you're looking at, because they made it really shiny for some reason. And that was weird, you're saying about a, only a nice guy can tame Kojiro or something? That was weird. And all, mm. I, all I did was walk up to the guy. <laughs> hey! Speed up. <laughs> yep. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Whoa. Huh. Jerome, calm down. <laughs> calm down. 
<laughs> Jeez. Yeah, the thing is, though, in order to get to the to the old lady they're supposed to talk to, you have to make sure it's daytime because you can't. Otherwise, you can't go through the shop. Now it looks like he's walking angry. Yeah. You know, look at make me do all this shit. <laughs> <laughs> It's so long doing all your damn errands. Oh, oh. <laughs> all this just to get a sword with the with the power, with the equivalent power of a stick. All yeah. he wanted was a burger. <laughs> yeah. It really is. Jeez, and he's got like twenty sticks. So he can't use them. It's kindling. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I'm going it to I'm going to I'm going to assume while his ball is. While his oh spirit. yeah, her. <laughs> I'm going to assume yeah. while his spirit was away, his, um, somehow he lost some of his brain cells, and that's how he forgot how to use the stick. Alright. Is that a cat? Uh, Looks I think... Like a tiger. What are, you, what are you talking about? The person? No, 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 Yeah, the cat yeah. that she's petting. Oh. Yeah, it looks like a cat. Moving, so. Yeah, but it's it has, a cat. But it has stripes, so it looks like a tiger. Hmm. It's a cat tiger. <laughs> Is it alive? I, I would assume so. <laughs> Holy shit, maybe she's just like, she lost it and she's like, I'm just gonna pet this corpse. And now we got a shiny rock. It's an odd potion, thank you very much. <laughs> in the remake, they made it look like an actual medicine, but in this one, it's just a piece of rock. Yeah. And her face, though, is kind of scary looking. Actually, it looked like she just cut the top off the mushroom and just slapped it on a piece of paper. You're actually right, yeah. Actually, that's here, exactly what it looks like. <laughs> <laughs> what if that's exactly what it is? <laughs> Just wasting your time. You mean to tell me I went all the way over there for nothing? I could've just taken my sword out for this. <laughs> yeah. Zero is not amused. Now I'm just imagining Link, like, using his sword to put peanut butter on a sandwich. <laughs> Might as well, it has no other purpose. There's other, like, more po more powerful ones. And sticks, too. I'm just checking. Not the badger. Yeah, can't sticks afford it. To badger. Funny thing is, now that you mentioned sticks to badger, one of my friends on Xbox Live called himself the honey badger. Yeah. Like he named his gamer tag that, right? So every single yep. time someone refers to him, the only thing I think of is sticks to badger instead of him. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> wow. What's his full gamer tag? Because I have a guy on my Xbox named uh, Honey Badger too. Well, what, what's what's that guy's full name? Uh, I'm gonna have to sign back in. Okay, I'm gonna sign in. <laughs> Well, while Chad does that, we admire heights. Well, he can, yes. well, yeah, he can, he can go do that. All right, I'm just trying to get him, grab a piece oh, of Are you heart. trying to grab that heart piece? Yeah. Wrong button. There we go. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> Whoa, <what's... laughs> I, I, don't... <laughs> I don't know any other way how to get to this thing. Yeah. And that guy's just sitting there. Yay. Just, we're just chilling on the roof. I got a yeah. heart piece. Navi, shut up. We get it. <laughs> she wants us to go to the forest. We're heading over there. You know, I wonder which one's more lethal, like a jungle badger or a honey badger? Because Styx is like a jungle badger. So, like, if she was a honey badger, maybe she'd be even crazier? I don't know. <laughs> well, anyway, we'll continue the training sequence in 